The Apple event happened, and we have some thoughts. Oh, my. <laughs> and I slipped right through it. Also, I have a feeling you'll love my app cap. And I will scream at you. It's time for iOS Today. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Aftershocks. Unbelievably comfortable open ear headphones. Hear music and crystal clear phone calls like never before. Visit iostoday.aftershocks.com. And use the code iOS today for $50 off the tech bundle. And buy Gazelle, the trusted online marketplace for buying and selling used devices. Get paid for giving new life to used devices and get an extra $10 on your first trade-in of $50 or more at gazelle.com slash twit. Hey, Megan. Hey, Leo. How are you? Welcome to iOS Today. I don't know why I'm welcoming you. Yeah, welcome welcome <laughs> to you, too. Welcome to you, too. Welcome to you. you. You're the one that matters. Uh, this is the show where we cover all the latest iOS stuff, and there is a lot of latest iOS stuff. iOS uh, for the iPad, for the iPhone, for the Apple TV, even for the Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. And, of course, yesterday... Apple uh, decided to become a services company. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Yeah. Uh, this is something actually we've known about for some time because uh, Tim Cook's been mentioning this in the analyst calls every quarter for the last couple of years. But it really, it, the, the strategy is starting to gel. They announced a number of new products, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we talked uh, over the event yesterday. It was That's great. our thing. We talk was... over events. <laughs> and I... Apple took us down. So there you go. <laughs> I was super excited about the intro. Like, that was, to me, the best part. Maybe the Saul Bass-style intro. Remember the opening credits? Yeah. You think that was Saul Bass-style? Yeah, I think so. Like, Mad Men. He did the Mad... Like, that was sort of the same as... I mean, Saul Bass didn't do the Mad Men, but that was, like, the yeah, book yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah, they were going for that. He used to do book covers and stuff. I feel like that was the Yeah, kind that's of, kind of where they were going yeah. with that. That was yeah. the best part. After that, it just went downhill, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I have to say that the... Um, well, first of all, only one of all the things they talked about was uh, is available today. And, of course, that's Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's Apple News. Did you get it? Yeah. And the, and the other thing that surprised me is the way you get it is by uh, updating iOS mm -hmm. and macOS, as it turns out. Right. Uh, in order to get Apple News. I haven't tried Apple TV yet, but is there an Apple News for Apple TV? They implied it'll be everywhere, including Apple TV. Yeah, I didn't I didn't yeah. try that. Um, and it's not everywhere. It's not on the web, which is a big deal to me because if you want to share a story from... Oh. And in, you, I shared tried to share one on Twitter, and I shared a story that Jason Snell wrote in Macworld from the magazine. And you can't share a link. You share it, and then if someone's on the web, it just says, introducing Apple News, oh. which you cannot get on the web. Oh. It's such a bad experience. So, uh, well, I guess, should we just do all of the Apple News and then talk about the other things they announced which you can't have? Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. start with Apple Although News. Although so I'm surprised. It looks like you have one of them, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, yeah, it looks like you've got that new Apple credit card. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But, but first, let's talk about uh, Apple News. You may remember our sponsor, Texture. Mm -hmm. Apple bought them for a couple hundred million dollars uh, last year. And after looking at Apple News for a while, it looks pretty much like it's Texture. Yeah. I mean, so Apple News Plus is what it, it's really called. News Plus. There's and you have to pay for the Texture part. It's $10 a month. Right. But the first month is free. So you can sample it right now. Yes. And you can still get Texture. Um, over the weekend, I was, as I told you, I was trying to uh, see if you could still get texture because we knew this was coming and I went through this endless loop of trying to subscribe and I I couldn't I was like oh I guess it's it's over with and then um, I signed up for the free month of Apple News Plus and then I all of a sudden got a $9.99 a month charge for my texture oh, subscription. <laughs> it's super man. Yeah, super easy to get a refund from Apple. You just say, I want a refund. I gave yeah. them an answer. So so this is what News Plus looks like. It's got some topics. Actually, let me, before you get to that point, because it took me a little while to find it. Oh, it did? So let me show, look at my screen here. Uh, first of all, when they showed all this stuff, they showed it in portrait mode. Right. 
which makes it even harder to figure out where where the, where's the magazines. I don't see the magazines. Mm. So the magazines are in this left-hand gutter, which you don't see in portrait mode. You do see by default in landscape mode because there's enough room on the screen. And, you know, if you look at this, you might not immediately... See, I've been using news, so I had a lot of publications, including magazines, that you know, things like that. And I at first said, well, where, where's my magazines in here? I mean, there's Wired, but where's my magazines where's in here? Where's my magazines? You have to tap this, News Plus. That's the magazine rack. Oh, suddenly it becomes clear. And so uh, it did not pick up my uh, subscriptions from Texture, so you'll have to resubscribe there. The catalog, according to Apple, is 300 magazines. On the ads for Texture, we always said 200 magazines so mm -hmm. but i couldn't see anything on here that wasn't on texture and at the same time i didn't see anything that was on texture that wasn't on here tim cook said it would cost you eight thousand dollars to subscribe to all these magazines but honestly i don't subscribe to cbs soaps boys life or brides so i'm not going to buy all of them however 10 bucks a month and you get all the contents of all these magazines is is a pretty good deal for us maybe not so much of a good deal for the magazines. Most of them, but not all of them, have this new format where you have the cover and as you scroll up a little table of contents. And then if you scroll left from the cover, you get the same thing that, frankly, used to be on texture, which is, a, <laughs> sad to say, a PDF mm -hmm. of the magazine. This is basically identical to a PDF as if they had scanned it. In fact, the scanning perhaps is imperfect. It's cut off, as you see, on the CBS Soap's uh, at the top, um, but I guess I have enough of it. And some people on Twitter, Steve Troughton Smith, who's uh, notorious for looking into the code of different Apple products, um, he said that even without a subscription, you can actually download that PDF um, <laughs> and share it. Well, I'm sure they'll fix to. that. <laughs> yeah, I think they probably will. But let's see what the share sheet offers. So I could message, but you're saying if I'm if I let's if I airdropped this to you or. Yeah, you could airdrop it to I, Breton. I, Hi, Breton. <laughs> our guest. Um, let me let me Breton. Are you subscribing to Apple uh, Plus? Yeah, haven't got in Australia. This is a great test. Let me see if it's I can Australia. share it with Australia. Uh, so I'm I am sending you an airdrop, and now I'm sending you. I don't know what you're going to get. Is it a PDF of CBS Soaps in Depth? All the shows you can't watch in Australia. <laughs> we're we're actually using our audience members as a guinea pig. Yeah, unavailable. So, yeah, what a, another bad experience. Yeah, well, let me share it with you. But you already have, you already have um, yeah, News so Plus. You're subscribing, opens, so you yeah, in fact here, get it in your News Plus. See, there, there we go. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah, not that I've, sh I'm not sharing with you anything you don't already have. So right, but that's kind of silly. But you could have shared a certain article to me and my guess at, when well, I. Well, I did, and you got the whole magazine. Oh, you, you did. I shared a specific part of it, and you got oh, the whole thing. Yeah, that's there's wonderful. the. By the way, that. As you're seeing it right there on, on Megan's screen, and if you're not watching, you're listening, you're getting basically a thumbnail of each page. That's what Texture was. It was a PDF of the magazines. And that's uh, at, I thought at first when we were talking about this that Apple was going to do something maybe a little neater. I oh, sent you an article too. And you sent me a your... link. What do I oh, get? So now got... I got the link. The one I had sent to you. Yeah, but that wasn't the one I sent to you. The one I sent to you <laughs> was this is the, Rodriguez. This is, this is the story... I was open on in CBS Soaps in Depth. Yeah, so... So it isn't sharing the page. It's sharing the entire magazine, which I already have. Thank and you And I very needed much. you to read the story about Gina Rodriguez. Um, I don't even of, know who she is. She's of Jane the Virgin. I was excited because I, when I first... Uh, let me let me show you the, the, the one magazine uh, <laughs> where... Uh, oh, and I have to find it. What was the magazine with Issa Rae on the cover? I've forgotten now. Uh, but they showed something that I thought, oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be the Harry Potter cover style where the people are moving mm -hmm. in the magazine. Um, I forgot what the magazine was. Was it she... National Geographic? No, it's a ray was not on the cover. Of National oh, it's a ray. I thought you said it was an array. <laughs> a manta I don't ray. I don't, I don't listen to no, anything. It's a, it's a ray. You know, the uh, host, yes. the uh, star of Insecure, Insecure on yes. uh, an HBO. Was um, that a Vanity Fair? Maybe it was Vanity Fair. I don't know. I'm trying to find it now. Entertainment is probably where you'd find it. But it was a moving video of her. And I thought, oh, this is great. 
all the magazines now are going to do some custom production just for Apple, just for News Plus, and we're going to see moving covers, and and it'll be really cool. No, it we it's not. I was they were just showing the stuff that looked really good. Here's another question I have about this, and this came from a viewer um, who had used Texture previously and said that it was easy to get rid of a magazine once you downloaded it, um, like so it didn't take up storage. But yeah. there's no, I could not figure out how to do That's this. That's so Apple, isn't it? Um, um, and even if you go to storage, like we did last week or two weeks ago, where you go through your storage and delete, you can't. You can either delete the whole app. It's not like you can go in there and just delete People Magazine that you've already read that you don't want to take space. So, yeah, and and by the way, that one of the things Apple said is that they're going to automatically download entire magazines. Right. So if you don't uh, have a lot of space, for you. that's no good. Um, I'm glad to see it's not crashing because that was what I first experienced on my iPhone with Apple News and a lot of other people are experiencing that. Um, that is just crashing. Oh, I can make it crash. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to see me you make it crash? It. Um, what was... Oh, there's the... There's the okay, the that's an example. Now, the cut, though, is a digital first magazine. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense that they would have mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. There is no paper version mm -hmm. of the cut. And that was one thing Apple did add is some digital first subscriptions like The Cut, uh, as well as... Um, skim. Skim with two Ms, which is digital first, and a special version of TechCrunch that's subscription only that you'll oh. get uh, as part of your $10 subscription. So there's some... I think there's some some good stuff but then, in here. I mean, I hate to keep harping on it, but I'm going to. The Wall Street Journal is not the entire Wall Street Journal. It's I not? Read. No, it's the um, common interest stories plus three or four days of archived oh. stuff. So it's not um, Cause it's I days That makes sense because I pay $149 a year for yeah. the digital Wall Street Journal uh, alone, more than, in fact, a year's worth of Apple News Plus. So uh, that, that kind of makes sense. You're not getting the full Wall Street Journal. The other thing they uh, they say that we get is the Los Angeles Times. Do you get the full Los Angeles Times? I, I guess so, because I haven't read that you don't. I think it's smart for the LA Times. Remember, the New York Times and the Washington Post both declined to be part of News Plus because, uh, frankly, that they, they wanted to keep their subscriber information mm -hmm. and their rich subscription fees, and they're both doing well digitally. But uh, the LA Times, which I think has ambitions of becoming a national newspaper, um, probably saw this as a great opportunity, right? Oh, mm -hmm. you know, here's a way to get people to read our paper and realize it's not just for Los Angeles. Um, and, and oh, Spotify acquires Los Angeles podcasting firm Parcast. Well, there you go. Another another hundred million dollars down the tubes. I don't know what they. Oh, see, this is where we made our mistake. Parcast is female, seventy five percent female. <laughs> right. We're ninety five percent male. Yes. Obviously, Spotify couldn't care you, less. Or you could have been one hundred percent male. That maybe I'm your mistake. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Uneasy so laughter. <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> so I think this is um, a smart move for the LA Times, but it the fact that you don't get the whole Wall Street Journal kind of points out the, the big problem with uh, Apple's strategy here. If a magazine or a newspaper is doing fine digitally, what does it need News Plus mm -hmm. uh, for? Mostly magazines want it because it's going to, you know, as, as Oprah said at the event yesterday, a billion pockets, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's a really great number of people to be able to reach out to. And if you're the LA Times, suddenly getting this giant, you know, you know and by the way, it is available in Canada and soon in many other countries, uh, getting this suddenly this giant subscriber base, not a billion, because of course a billion includes all the other countries it won't be in, but still it's important. Right, and it's also a billion people aren't going to pay nine ninety nine dollars a month, but they have the possibility. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, with an emphasis on curation, that's the I'm going to say some good things about it. I like that um, because it's just overwhelming how much m magazine content that you could read. I like that it's a entire family plan. There's no nine ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. It's nine. That's a good deal. And we, we 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 kind of were reluctant to mention this when we were doing the texture ads, but now I can tell you the secret, which is 
while Texture didn't promote this particularly, you could buy one subscription and share it on a bunch of devices. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but you could have five devices or not. Apple's making this explicit now, saying mm -hmm. it's part of your family. So, which is good news, because I was sharing Lisa's Texture subscription. Now she's sharing my uh, News Plus subscription. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I am excited to delve deeper into stories that aren't just online. Um, longer and the, reads. And especially and on the iPad, maybe less on the iPhone, but especially on the iPad. Yeah. It's a great... It's great content mm -hmm. for the iPad. I mean, it's it's visual. Uh, it's got lots of imagery in it. Uh, I I did notice though, by the way, Megan. I was reading it uh, eventually in portrait mode because it just kind of made more sense. Yeah. To read articles this way, you see more on the screen. Right. It's more like reading a magazine. So I understood why they finally showed it that way yeah. uh, on the. Um, on the stage. Yeah, that's what my dad said too. That the print is you can make the print bigger when you're holding it in uh, in portrait. Yeah. That's another thing is not everything uh, zooms, just so you know. But you can make the print bigger with that little um, A yeah. in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if you can get images, uh, and this was a problem with texture too, separate then, well, maybe not. In many cases, then you can pinch and zoom. Uh, in this case, not. Okay. okay. I'm trying... Oh, there I crashed it. I knew I could. You could. I, I knew yeah. you said you could yeah. and you could. I, I knew I could. I just had to play with it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so should, that's all right. Anything That'll else be about fixed. Apple News Plus or should we move on to the Apple credit card? Um, I, 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 just, I guess I would summarize and say uh, for $10, it's a good deal. Yeah. And if you were a subscriber to Texture, Texture is going away. And you might want to just transfer that 10 bucks a month over uh, to Apple News Plus and certainly take advantage of the 30 days. Right. It, you have to be somebody who wants to consume magazines on your iPad or your iPhone. Um, but if you are, this is probably a, a, a good deal. Enough said. Okay, so... So they also announced the next thing. The Apple Card. The Apple Card. Um, I've and got one right Megan here. Megan has her the Apple Card made of solid titanium. Yep, uh, made of Gorilla Glass. Yeah, um, it's actually invisible... Uh, see-through type no and that's bendable <laughs> you <This> broke is... <laughs> it <laughs> um yeah so okay. i didn't break so it chiefly bend it. in the announcement they didn't really initially talk about a Ooh. credit card at all it's just really the ability to buy stuff on credit through apple pay mm -hmm. they're partnering with goldman sachs and you know i'll kind of run through the you know there's no fee there's no annual fee there's no fee for international transactions which for people who travel is always good news. They didn't mention what the exchange rates would be, but I imagine they'll be competitive. Uh, even more importantly, there's no penalty for late payments. Of that, course, you there is. well, you continue to pay the interest. But your interest will go up. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So there's a lot of fine print. There is a penalty. That your interest goes up in the second month. Yeah, no late fees. But if you oh. miss a payment or or if you're late on a payment then you're, uh, you are subject to increased interest. And by the way, they didn't say what the interest would they be. They said not. it will be competitive. It's 13.24% okay. to 24.24%. Uh, well, the 13 is competitive because well, the, uh, the average credit card interest rate is around 18%. But you can shop around and you can get down to 13%. Mm -hmm. um, and the 24 is if you're late or... Well, yeah, or if you don't, I mean, if you don't have good si credit, you know, size, it, oh. it varies. Well, that's less attractive. It is. If you read the fine print, you will find that it is less attractive. Yes. They, uh, the, the, I think the real selling point of this whole thing, uh, well, there's, ca oh, I, we didn't mention cash back, which is 1% for non-Apple Pay transactions, 2%, and it's immediate cash back. It's 2% for non-Apple 1% for non-Apple Pay, 2% for Apple Pay. Okay. 3% if you buy Apple products, merchandise in the Apple store. So that's, again, not the best cashback offer out there, but it's a relatively competitive offer. So what's the 1% if you use it, the physical If you're card? using it non-Apple Pay, you're using it as a credit card. You go to a restaurant, For you the give them the credit card, card it's 1% cashback. So if a place that doesn't take Apple Pay? Yeah, if you don't do the touch to pay Apple Pay thing. Okay, so that's a big deal too because it's not really two percent. It's two percent only places. in the touch to pay yeah. places. I mean, I don't know because I have the Chase Reserve card. I just bought five tickets to Hawaii and I only paid fifty eight dollars because I use points. Yeah, and so that was pretty good. This is as always, and I don't want to become you know nerd wallet, but as always, the most important <laughs> thing to do, and it's very difficult to do, is compare and shop when you uh, decide to sign Where up for a credit card. Take it. What? <laughs> <laughs> what I will almost, I threw it over my shoulder. It's over there if you have a camera. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. What I will, uh, what I think is the, really the only real selling point, the thing that Apple's, of course, selling is privacy. Mm -hmm. And Apple's doing a number of things to keep it private. Uh, they say, the mer just like Apple Pay, the merchant will only get a special token. They won't get your name, your address, your information, or your credit card number. So it's going to be a lot harder to, uh, to steal this information. Mm -hmm. They also say no advertiser will get it. And really, they're taking aim at Google here. Google offers uh, merchants and, uh, and uh, advertisers information about what you use, even when you use a regular credit card. Because in the normal course of events, every time you use a credit card, it's reported back to the credit reporting agencies, mm -hmm. Equifax and TransUnion and Experian. And, uh, and, that, and they then sell that information on into other companies, including Google. Google aggregates that information, and it's useful information for its advertisers. Google says to its advertisers, they don't say it in public but much, but they say to their advertisers, we can tell you whether your ad worked even if they don't buy it through Google services mm -hmm. because they have that credit card re uh, receipt. So Apple's promise is, well, we're not Google. We're not going to let any third party get it except... Goldman Sachs gets it. Mm -hmm. And so we have to then trust Apple and Goldman Sachs and make sure and you know keep an eye on Goldman Sachs because uh they're really doing the back end, all the back end. Now obviously somebody's got to do the back end for it and whoever is doing the back end is going to have all that information. So I think the people who really believe and trust Apple's privacy policy will maybe embrace this card as a more private credit card. And then of course there's titanium it's made of titanium. Can we show that beautiful, there you go, etching out the space where the chip would go? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, guys. It's just a credit card. Yeah, it's not a piece of plastic. The one thing that's very different is uh, it does not have your card number on it or a mm -hmm. CVV number on it or anywhere to sign on it. I can guarantee you, at least initially, you're going to have some trouble presenting this card. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just like we all had trouble using Apple Pay at first. Where, yeah. You know, even though they took it, people would be say, like, I don't think that works. Where's the, where, yeah. where's the card number? You didn't sign it. Yeah. Um, but it is a card. and It's a beautiful physical card. And Apple knows that some people uh, buy Apple stuff just for the, the, the hardware. Yeah. So there is even some hardware associated with it, uh, this. It's not available yet. It'll be available sometime in the summer. Uh, I'm glad we now know the interest rates because they refused to say mm -hmm. during the event. Uh, the other thing they didn't say is there is a limit to your daily cash. They said there's no limit to the daily cash you can get. They said if you buy a $32,000 boat, you'll right. get 2% back. No? So the limit is your spending limit. So, like, you probably well, yes, don't have a limit. Obviously, but, you can't but, buy a $32,000 boat if you're spending have, Yeah, but I mean, I think that's something that's worth saying. I mean, this uh, the other thing worth saying is they made it seem like it's so easy to get. It's not easy for everyone to get a credit card. It's yeah. just not. I mean, and that is no fault to the person that it's, you know, not everybody has credit. It's, it's hard to get credit. And so that will be hard just like it's hard to get any other credit card. Frankly, as we continue now through the event, I think you're going to see both of us have kind of the same reaction, which is basically it's going downhill at this point. <laughs> well, I'm happy that I like the privacy part of the credit card. Absolutely. I've never yeah. been a victim of credit card fraud and I hope never to be. And maybe if I was, I would think um, more positively about the way that they're trying to avoid fraud. But my experience is when anyone has stolen my credit card number, I just tell the credit card company and they don't, they take care of it for yeah. me. So maybe for the merchant, because I think that ends up being the merchant's responsibility. So maybe that would be better. It has, the it's basically, if you think of it as Apple pay plus the ability to pay over time, mm -hmm. that's what you're essentially getting. Right. Because Apple pay had, of course, all that privacy when you used Apple pay at a Whole Foods, they didn't mm -hmm. get any information about right. you. There was that same kind of uh, security. Yeah. So, um, and oh, and we should mention the the app has information about budgeting. Pretty much the stock kind of stuff that you get in most mm -hmm. fintech companies these days. Uh, less so than some because, for instance, Mint allows you to add many different mm -hmm. um, accounts to your uh, interface. This looks like it's just Apple Pay. Maybe Apple will add that. It does make the wallet maybe a little bit more useful. And there it is, the titanium laser etched, Apple designed, designed in Cupertino, made in China credit card. Which pe some people will want. I think I would want it. I mean, it's titanium. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense for all the Apple stuff that you buy. Yeah. 
Just that um, alone. Yeah, there, there you go. 3% back on Apple uh, stuff. Although if you're a student or a business, you get an even larger discount wow. in most cases. So, uh, And I don't know if you can combine discounts. That'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. We'll find that out pretty quickly. I mean, it, the other thing is, like, I would just say, oh, I'll get it. But, you know, it's not a good idea for your credit to just have a bunch of credit cards either. Like, yeah. that's not good. Well, you heard you. Lisa say, no, I can't have yeah, it. Exactly. too many credit cards already. Um, but that's something that a lot of people don't know, you know, young people especially. Like, the more, I know that I was, like, every time I went to the store, they're like, would you like to open a credit card? Yeah. I'm like, of course I would. Why not? The worst thing is nowadays <laughs> on an airplane, you get harangued for, for, like, half an hour by the flight attendants. To buy, because they get commissioned, by oh. the way, to buy their credit card. Mm. And I actually fell for that. I ended up buying a American Advantage card oh. uh, because they just, you know, they, they flog that yeah. throughout the flight. My advice, too, is like, I used to have a United card. Now I'm so happy to have like a non-airline card. The airline right. cards are garbage because you just like you can only fly then and there's all these blackout yeah. dates and et cetera. I also recommend that you shop around. Go to Nerd Wallet or a mm -hmm. similar site and shop around because... Uh, as somebody in the chat room is pointing out, yeah, okay, I get 3% back from Apple with this credit card, but I go to Target and buy Apple stuff, I get 5% with mm -hmm. my Target card. So this isn't in any respect the best deal out there. The only thing that's unique, frankly, with this card is the privacy and security features that are already built into Apple Pay. Right. Probably not a good idea to get the card. Um, well, the only thing that's not built into Apple Pay is that if you use another credit card, you still have the same number on the back. The with uh, with the Apple card, it's a rotating. You know, show me that three digit number. That's a rotating number. So that is an additional security. But Apple Pay doesn't even have a CVV. Apple Pay. Right, but then just if you, gives them a token. But if you're going to use the credit card in a place that doesn't take. Do you have an Apple Pay credit card? No, I have What's a credit card in Apple Pay. Like my oh, I see what you're saying. So my Chase card is connected to it my Apple Pay. It funds Apple Pay. Yeah. But if you use Apple Pay at that Pay. point, they don't get your Chase card information. They just get money from Apple. Apple funds the Apple Pay right, through the Chase card. Right, but if you use the physical card. Well, yeah, if you use your the, Chase card, yeah. Right, versus the physical Apple Pay. But that's card. not Apple Pay. I'm you, saying once you bring out your credit card, you're doing something other than Apple Pay. I'm saying if you're using Apple Pay, right? Okay, got you've it. got the same privacy in then the credit have, card right. that you're already getting with Apple but Pay. But what I'm saying is if you're using the Apple card, then you have more privacy when you're using a then physical using card. Then using a Chase card. Yes. That's right. Okay. I think we're saying the same thing from different ends. Maybe. Apple Pay. <laughs> you don't believe me. <laughs> Let's break it down. No, let's not. That's okay. not it's not necessary. So, so I, moving yes. on. Okay. <laughs> By the way, we didn't mention that Apple, the week before this event, last week, released a whole bunch of new hardware, mm -hmm. clearing the decks uh, for this hardware that they might have in other years made a bigger deal about. Uh, for instance, and you ordered them, as did I, mm -hmm. there are new AirPods mm -hmm. out, the AirPod 2s, uh, which have uh, wireless charging cases. When are yours coming? I don't know. I thought they'd be here by now. Yeah, I thought. I know my mini is coming on Friday. What's your mini? mini? The iPad mini. The mini Cooper Oh, your car. mini iPad. They the also mini announced Cooper a car. mini. Yeah. We talked about those last week. And we then, did talk about that. Um, but yeah. they announced more after our show Right, last week. right. They did. You're right. The AirPods. So as somebody pointed out on uh, Twit, this is really clear evidence that Apple didn't want this event to be about hardware. That mm -hmm. this is the new Apple services. And Apple services is in Tim Cook's, you know... You, in the Tim Cook era, this is Tim's big thing. Mm -hmm. Tim's big announcement. Tim's big product is is beefing up services. And he's done a good job so far. There's a fairly hefty increase year over year last year, I think, of 33% uh, in revenue and services. I'm sure they're hoping for more. Of course, Apple Pay and the Apple Credit Card will, will bring in a lot of uh, revenue. Um, perhaps News Plus will. And then later in the year, at a time to be determined... For a price to be determined, you'll be able to play, let's start with Arcade, because that was the next right. thing they announced, mm -hmm. Apple Arcade. Uh, so yeah, so it'll be games um, that you can't play anywhere else, and that the developer yeah, these are, can't sell What's interesting else. is these are going to be exclusive games. So these are not games that you can get on Android. I don't. It's not clear, but uh, my sense was it's not games you could buy separately on the App Store, but maybe you'll be able to. Mm -hmm. You should be able to. Well, they didn't say. I, I would hope that you would be. I mean, why would they turn down that money? Yeah. 
But why would anybody turn down that money exactly? If you want to just buy that one game, of course. Yeah, so I'm, sh I'm hoping that'll be the case. But these will be 200 games roughly at any given time exclusive. This is very similar to Microsoft's Game Pass and other uh, things, except that, of course, the game is downloaded. Well, that's the same with Game Pass. The game is downloaded to your iPad, and you continue to play it as long as you continue to uh, pay the subscription fee, which we, we don't know what it is. It looks like uh, they're encouraging developers to create games specifically for this service. Mm -hmm. um, no freemium games or in-app purchase games will be offered. All of these games will be the type that you pay one flat rate and that's it. There's no more additional downloadable content or anything else. Um, so that's Apple Arcade coming in the fall for a price unknown with no games announced. It sounds a lot like Google Stadia. It's like yeah. it's vaporware. Um, but uh, you know, if it, I, again, this is one you will just have to wait and see. We'll, we'll have to evaluate it when the time comes. And I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't let you buy a one-off in the store. No, they, they obviously will. Cause there'll be a price, right? But like, you can't buy, like, say I just wanted to watch the fabulous Kimmy Schmidt or whatever on Netflix. I can't just buy that. I have to subscribe to Netflix. Right. And that's for a good reason. Right. Because they want you to pay. Yeah, you know, I don't know. That's a good they're question. They're not going to make you pay the same. Like, oh, yeah, you have to pay $100 for this one game or subscribe. And yet, if you're the developer, you certainly don't want to say, well, the only way people can get this game right. is by subscribing to Apple Arcade. So yeah. we'll we'll have to wait and see. This will be very interesting. Uh, it looks like Apple's really encouraging some uh, independent games that are going to be unique. That's mm -hmm. kind of how they pitch this. That uh, and it, But it means no Fortnite. It means, no, you know... Almost all the big games these days are, are freemium with in-app purchases. And uh, and actually, I think this, in a way, is Apple's response to that. Because mm -hmm. as consumers, we're not crazy about it, I right. think. Maybe yeah. that's just me. But I really prefer to pay outright for a game. I've really been bit, as you know, buying donuts on Simpsons Tapped Out mm -hmm. or buying uh, Pokeballs on Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. That ends up costing, in, in some cases, hundreds of dollars. Right. And I think parents, too, are very concerned mm -hmm. about the fact that kids are playing games where they have to kind of ongoing purchases. And so this this might be something parents would say, all right, I'll get this. And again, we don't know, will there be a family subscription? But how much will it cost? But if it's, say, it can't be, in my opinion, it can't be more than 10 bucks a month. But yeah. if it's, let's say it's 10 bucks a month and you get your family purchase, everybody in the family gets it. That might be pretty compelling. And then the parent can say to the kid, look, you can't buy any games. You can't buy any in-app in -app purchases. These are the games you can play. And surely among those 100 or 200 games, there'll be something you'll want to play. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what Apple's going for. Yeah, I mean, my kid plays Fortnite and doesn't pay anything. He just does all the things that you, you know, like the addicting things to be able to, like, get a game pass. You just keep playing or whatever. Yeah, which is great. I mean, yeah. you don't give him any money, so that's yeah. the only way he can play. Right. As soon as you get to an adult, when you have some money to spend, right. it's almost inevitable you're yeah, going to start buying downloadable content. Right. So I think that's their idea, like, that these games look to me that they're sort of aimed towards not little kids. Right. But Maybe. We'll see. I'm sure they'll have some little kid games. And, yeah. and uh, by the way, they're also selling the fact that these will be more creative, more indie type games, right. titles that somebody would be reluctant to release otherwise, but mm -hmm. with the big marketing push of Apple, and then we know that makes a big difference, um, that, that game studios that have interesting indie games will uh, put these out. There's Sonic, which is far from an indie game. Um, looks like a new Frogger. And then, yeah, some interesting stuff. So I think a lot of the games that you and I like particularly well, mm -hmm. those kind of oddball indie games, mm -hmm. will show up here. Right. We'll see. They also uh, announced... TV Plus? TV Plus. So the bundle that's not a bundle. There's no bundle. We don't know what it is. And it's not available till later this year. And we don't know what the price will be. Right. So I guess... You but we know that Oprah will be there. Yeah. <laughs> we know that Jason Momoa and Alfre Woodard will be there. Because right. these people took stage. Steve Carell, Jennifer Aniston, and that other woman. All... <laughs> All on stage together. Who is that other woman? I, I, her name keeps it's, it, failing I, me too. Yeah, it's Reese I always want Reese Witherspoon. Wanna... Thank you, Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. How could you forget a name like Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> I don't know. I do love her. Um, I do love her. And she's a producer. Like she's produced like Big Little Lies and you know. Yeah, yeah. She, she was has great. her whole production yeah. company. So, so Reese and Jennifer and Carell will be in a show called 
News morning? New, morning, morning show. show. Morning show. Which is really confusing. It's basically like us, but fictionalized. It's actually less fictionalized than you might think. It's exactly <laughs> like us. I wasn't a consultant. <laughs> no, it's about a not. television morning show behind the scenes. It's as if you were going to do Aaron Sorkin's newsroom, but you couldn't get Aaron Sorkin, and you really couldn't get uh, any of the actors, but 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 and you really didn't want to do it at night, so you do it in the morning. <laughs> yeah. That's basically it. Um, so we skipped over the first part of Apple TV, which is the part where you can now subscribe through the Apple TV app. To oh, Showtime, HBO, yes. and Stars, and a few other paid channels. So, I mean, maybe we skipped over it because it already exists. Yeah. You can already do that. App Amazon Prime started doing that some time ago. Um, Netflix is not in that bundle uh, yeah. because Netflix doesn't want to be in that bundle. And the, I'll tell you the reason I didn't grab me is I already pay for all those channels mm -hmm. on my cable bill. Right. And now I'll be interested to see if Apple TV changes that experience, which is nightmarish. As you pointed out, every month HBO Go says, okay, is this really you? And I have to go to my computer and log in and mm -hmm. activate. And it's a pain in the butt. And, uh, and, and I have to do that with all of them. Mm -hmm. You do too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And it seems to be almost random. I think it's monthly, but I don't know. Uh, that won't go away, I don't think, because we still have to activate through our cable company. Yeah. Well, what I do on my Apple TV, like I mainly watch shows on Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon Prime. Yeah. And so I just usually keep the apps open, and then I double-click right. on my remote and just swipe through to see the The one way this might be an improvement, and it's unknown yet, but is that the... Some of those apps, like the Amazon Prime app, leave a little be desired, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe Apple will work with them to make the app better inside of Apple TV. I bet not. Yeah. But that's maybe, the, again, we don't know because it's at least six months off. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, they weren't clear about different accounts because that's another thing that's already hard for me because I... Uh, watch Blackish on the treadmill, and my daughter watches Blackish on her iPad. Yeah, and so you lose we, track of which yes, episode. Yes, she watches you're in. episodes, and I, you yeah, know, get yeah. it's. it's very uh, there's opportunity for Apple, but this is not what Steve Jobs talked on about on his deathbed, where he said we've licked television. This is not in any way uh, an important, I don't think, announcement. And I think part of that is because Apple couldn't get what it really wanted, which was live locals. Mm -hmm. It couldn't get the networks to participate. Apple's had a little trouble uh, getting uh, entities that have a lot of content uh, to give their content to Apple. So, in fact, most of this stuff is new, newly created for uh, for the Apple TV, and that's what we're seeing right now. Some a teaser. This is ironic because none of this was shown at the event. They just had the actors come out and talk about it without really m much clippage. I think they showed this after they showed this after the, after we bored okay. we were bored yeah. by the actors and felt yeah. awkward for them. Well, it's you know it, it, I could have told you that would happen because if you've ever seen the Academy Awards, you know how terrible actors are at live presentations and reading teleprompters. That's not what they do. Mm -hmm. That's not what they do. And uh, so to put them in that environment, uh, you know, a couple of people did uh, pretty well. Um, uh, uh, Kamal Ninjani. Kamal did a very good job because he's a comic. He's a stand-up, and I think he did some material from his stand-up act. Um, yeah. It, it remains to be, again, remains to be seen, especially given that we believe Apple, and there's been lots of leaks to this, is being uh, very fussy about the type of content. Mm -hmm. They, they want to kind of be a Disney or a Hallmark channel. They don't want anything too controversial or too challenging. Mm -hmm. And honestly, as you pointed out yesterday, that's what we want to see. We want to mm -hmm. see Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of competition in this field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other, of course, then we could also talk about privacy. They're not going to be sharing what you're watching and all that. So I have a question for you because I've been thinking about this. A lot of what Apple's new pitch is, is privacy. Privacy with a credit card, privacy with their services. Your magazine subscriptions are kept by Apple, not by anybody else. Do <clears throat> I know we talk about it and we care about it. Do real people think about this and care? Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Maybe we all should care more about it. I mean, I don't know that I even really care. Like, I don't I think care. about it. <laughs> we, and that is that's a bigger problem. Like that. Well, I wonder if that's the media you know, tech media making a big deal over something that everybody else goes, Well, I mean, 
of course, I think what people say is, yeah, I'd like privacy, but I know I'm not going to get it. So I yeah. just want convenience. Yeah. I mean, you think about like part of the reason that Netflix was able to create um, a show like House of Cards that was based on data that they had collected, like Kevin Spacey at the time was a super popular actor. They knew it was worth $100 million. Right. And then the director, whose name is failing me, but... Um, he, the director of House of Cards, they knew he was really popular. And so putting them together, right. they knew, and they got that from what movies people watched. Right. Like they not, you know, they didn't know exactly what you watched, but this anonymized data, like this huge collection of data, like here's what people are going to like. And I appreciate that. Right. I mean, I appreciate them using the data of what people like me like also like. I, I like that kind of recommendation think, engine. Honestly, that's what companies like Amazon and Facebook and Google are betting on is that the value you get out of their data, big data, will overpower any concerns you have about your own personal privacy. I think in general, everybody says, yeah, I want privacy, but I'm not willing to give up some of the benefits. Mm -hmm. For instance, the Apple credit card will that be a compelling enough pitch. Notice Apple even didn't trust the privacy pitch. They said, oh, no, the rates are going to be low and there's no fees. And then we saw, well, maybe there are some fees and maybe the mm -hmm. rates aren't that low. Uh, so I think Apple's betting that privacy uh, and security are paramount for people and will drive their purchasing decisions. And in a way, Apple's betting the company on this. Mm -hmm. Because in all honesty, none of these services are super compelling Unless you say, yes, but I want to live in Apple's world where I feel safer and more private. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, maybe you maybe because you use an iPhone and an iPad and Apple TV and a Macintosh, you have all Apple hardware. But even then, there's nothing to lock you in. You can still do Netflix on all of those. There's nothing to say you have to buy these Apple services. It's not the App Store. I mean, the App Store is what they would want everything to be, right? The App Store is this amazing place. You, I mean, if you're using an Android phone, phone it's a different story. But if you're using an iPhone, you cannot get apps right. anywhere else. In and Apple's they perfect world, you would only be able to buy television from right. Apple and, and magazines music. from Apple and use Apple credit and, uh, cards. Yeah, so <laughs> That's I the think, world they want. Right. And I don't think it's the world consumers want at all. No, I don't think it is at all. And that's what they've pushed too. Like, oh, the apps are so dangerous. We cannot let you sideload them or you will ruin yourself. So that is what, and then they get to, we don't love the app store. We don't love the creative and decisions they've always made. Some are great, some are horrible. And it's just the fact that they get to make those decisions. I don't want them to be making those decisions about what magazines I'm reading and what TV I'm watching. Right. And I don't really care if National Geographic knows my home address, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. Anyway, there you have it. Mm -hmm. um, we are perhaps more negative on this than a lot of others. I'm looking at the Boy Genius Report, uh, uh, an Apple blog, Jonathan Geller. Apple has shown us the future with yesterday's industry-changing announcements. I thought yesterday's Apple event was a monumental success. That's that's the tenor of a lot of uh, yeah. uh, press. And I don't want to be too cynical either, but I at the same time, I don't want to be too fangirlish. I see some real issues with a lot of the things that they announced and some gaping holes mm -hmm. in what we don't know. So yeah, <sighs> it makes me feel like I want to go on a run and listen to music and podcasts. <laughs> oh, I have a suggestion for you. <laughs> these babies, these are awesome. Um Somebody called the radio show and said, "These I, I'm hearing about these bone conduction headphones. What what do you think?" And I said, "Well, first let me tell you, <laughs> I am a fan of aftershocks, but these aren't your grandpa's bone conducting mm -hmm. headphones. If you're of a certain age, you remember the advertisements in the back of Rolling Stone for something called the bone phone that you hung over your neck, and it and it promised bone conduction and." If you're of a certain gullibility, as I was, you might have bought these and been disappointed. <laughs> that's when I first thought, I first heard about it, Aftershocks, I thought, oh, that's, this is, then I put them on and I realized, oh, that's not what these are at all. Aftershocks are super light, and I have to say this, very comfortable headphones that don't go in your ears. They go over your ears and they put little transducers at your temples. And the sound comes through your temples. In fact, aftershocks even come with earplugs, so you can sample the difference. When you put the earplugs in, they actually even sound a little bit better because of the, the bass goes up. It really sounds great. 
But the benefit of this is you get super light headphones that can be used not only for listening to music, but for phone calls. In fact, if you go to my house on a day off, you'll often see me wearing these around the house all day. They're that comfortable because I'm listening to audiobooks, listening to music. And if I have to make a conference call, and you know how long and uncomfortable those are, I've got these on. I, I have paired them to my computer, and I can make a great conference call. People, the last one I did, people even said, you sound really good. What are you doing? I said, I'm using Aftershocks. Aftershocks, Trex Airs. That's what these are. Wireless bone conduction headphones that are unbelievably comfortable. They're also great for runners or bikers or people who want to wear them in situations where you still need to hear what's going on because they don't block your ears. You're getting great sound, but you can hear emergency vehicles or cars behind you. They And I think they're more comfortable because they don't go in your ears. I have fatigue from things that go in my ears. After a couple of hours, I just want to take them out. Mm -hmm. These don't. So I they never bother me. They're very lightweight. That wraparound band is titanium, the same material used in Apple's credit card. And it's very flexible. It keeps the uh, the, the uh, transducers positioned just right on your uh, on your cheekbones. They bypass your eardrum and they sound great. Wireless Bluetooth 4.1 connectivity. That means I can pair it to everything. And it has multi-point connection pairing. So I have it paired to my phone, my iPad, and my computer. That way I can use it wherever I need to. Wide dynamic range, really nice bass. Uh, they're IP55 certified. That's That means they repel sweat, dust, and moisture. So if you, you can run in the rain, you can sweat into these. I wear them on my Peloton uh, bike because they're more comfortable. I can hear when Lisa's talking to me, and uh, they don't. The sweat doesn't doesn't bother them. You get six hours of continuous music and calls on a single charge, ten days standby time, and they charge fast in about an hour and a half. Plus, you're going to get a two year warranty, hassle free. Aftershocks, A F T E R S H O K Z. Now we've got a tech bundle which includes these Trex Air. Uh, headphones, a pop socket for your phone, a large portable storage case, a portable power bank so you never run low, and an Aftershocks travel tumbler with insulation. All you have to do is go to iostoday.aftershocks.com, iostoday.aftershocks.com, and use the offer code iostoday, all one word, at checkout, and you'll get $50 off the tech bundle. It's valid in the U.S. only. iostoday.aftershocks.com. Use the code iOS today. Even if you don't get the tech bundle, I think you're going to just love these aftershocks. Uh, I was, <laughs> they. I said I'm not doing the ad till you send me these, uh, so I can try them. And now I'm saying I'm not ever giving these back, so don't <laughs> ask for them. I love these. They, they are the best uh, telephone headphones, uh, wearables, exercise headphones I've ever had. They really have replaced everything. Aftershocks. There you go. Trex Air. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Now it's time for the segment. Did you know your iPhone could do this? <laughs> Did you know that no. your oh. iPhone yes. can be a bubble level, like a level, even without a level app? Did you know they that? They used to have a level app. Is uh, something else in here now? All you have to do, yeah. this works in all Google, including Google. On oh, Google on the, on the Google site. Yes. yes. Bubble level. And if then you search I, for that in Google, yes, and this then is I, a, this is something Google has actually right. done as a kind of toy. And then there's the level. It's Look at a that. level, and it works so well. <laughs> well, device not supported. Oh it, it no! It just worked a second ago. It. Did what? you know your iPhone could do this? Why isn't it working? Do you have to do it in Chrome, not Safari? Oh. I th I'll tell you why I think it's not working. I think Safari has recently <laughs> turned off the ability uh, for websites to check your accelerometer. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Because, yeah. okay, let's try it in. Did you do it today? Because I don't think they turned it off in the last five no, minutes. I, I thought I did it, but let's just see. Mm. Oh, there we go. I was in Safari. That's the problem. Yeah, it has to be in Chrome. But yeah. So your iPhone can do this as long as you have Chrome on yeah. it. And that's only because Apple, this is an example, I think, perfect example of what we were talking about. In order to protect your privacy, keeps websites from getting that information from the phone about your accelerometers, your gyroscope, the other sensors. Um, but uh, 
uh, you may want that. It might be mm -hmm. handy. Mm -hmm. And what do you care if a website knows which way you're facing? Mm -hmm. That's the Apple Compass you're showing me. It also the has a little bubble a level? spirit level in it. Let's see. Are we upright? Can we adjust our... <laughs> you sure you have it right now? I feel like I'm, I'm tilting off to the left okay. here. Okay. So the Apple Compass will also do that, but it is a nice feature okay. in the uh, in the There's Google search. No, no, huh? Well, then they can't see it if I hold it like that. Yeah, but then it won't work if you hold it. Is it working? <laughs> okay, look, it's working. No, what is it doing, John? I think you're wrong. I think it's just a compass. The circle. There's a, bubble. a bubble. There's a spirit the bubble. level in there. See oh, there's right a bubble. There. Oh yeah, look, cool. Yeah. This, I'm going to rename this segment to Megan just realized her iPhone could do this. <laughs> All along. Okay, so um, let's get to some questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, John from Pittsburgh writes, what happens to Texture now that Apple News Plus is here? Will Apple keep both or will Texture go away? I think it goes away in May. I can't yeah, remember. That's what Renee Ritchie said because yeah. I, I complained on Twitter that my... Um, my subscription just re-upped and I had to pay nine ninety nine. and um, oh and then I got I just got this thank you it was it was a uh, tenth the cost of an Apple <laughs> iPhone, <laughs> an iPhone and it, it works <laughs> pretty, pretty it does, well yeah thank yeah. you Burke uh -huh, for the uh -huh. bubble level that's an actual level look it says twit on it it's an official twit level mm -hmm. look at that oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. We should sell those. We should sell those. Really, we should. <laughs> for a thousand dollars. We should just sell stuff that Burke's right writes twit on. Made like, in order of to titanium. Keep it <laughs> it's a hundred percent secure. No one will know where your spirit bubble is. Yeah. Is it really called a spirit bubble? Or did uh, you just call it that? It's a spirit, spirit bubble. Spirit level. Spirit level because the liquid in here is spirits. Oh. Did you know that? You, so I could drink it, and if I no, was don't drink it. But oh. you could uh, you could preserve a specimen in it. Oh, okay. But do not drink. I wouldn't drink it. Okay, got it. All right, Marilyn wrote us. I to doubt say, they use spirits anymore in these things. I'm almost certain they just probably just use water. But who knows? It's a good thing to find out. The idea was it was more viscous, right? So the bubble would sl move a little more slowly. Mm -hmm. By the way, our table is not level, <laughs> not even close. The bubble's all the way over. Can can we fix that? This is this would be whoa, <laughs> whoa! Now it is. You just fixed it. Fixed what it. do you have a a special button? Uh, That's a miracle. Okay. Shall we get to Marilyn's yes. email? Yes. Marilyn writes, your podcast today was all about cleaning your iPad. Today I deleted the backup photos on my Google Photos app and all the photos on my iPad Air were deleted too. I had to click restore for each Yikes. of the six hundred and sixty photos. Whenever I delete a photo in Google Photos, it also deletes on my iPad Air, too. We should probably have been more clear. We should. I got a lot of email like this. And I think I might have deleted some of my photos, too. So when you're cleaning up space... You want to use the free up space button. No, I think that also... Press it and see what happens. See, what does that say? Well, it says it's too soon. Well, too soon. So, I thought mine said it would also delete so, them off of your, your iCloud account. Uh, it might because it's deleting it. For, okay, so here's what's happening. Uh, that's a, an interesting point. We should probably have issued a disclaimer. The idea of free up space is that Google will, yeah, come it's on. It's freeing up the space on your iPad and saying, oh, well, you've already backed up these on Google Photos, so don't worry, you don't need them anywhere else. They've already dangerous. been safely backed up to your Google account. That's the important words here. Right. So if I delete these, at the if you're connected to iCloud with your Apple Photos, it's being deleted from your device. So Apple Photos will say, "Oh," and delete them from iCloud as right. well. So yeah. they are stored on Google, but that's all. Right. So maybe we weren't clear about that. This is this is a way of backing up to Google, right, and saving space. These uh, and it, uh, it does warn you. These items yeah. will be deleted from iCloud Photos on right. all your devices. It does warn you. It's not. It's not a mystery. Right. Most of the email was saying, "Oh, it warned me that." Good, and then so, they said, "Don't yeah, allow." Don't. I don't mind. It's going to save me a lot of space, and I have copies of all these photos in the Google Cloud. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you want both Google and iCloud, you can do that, but you can't use the delete, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise, it wouldn't save any space because it would, right? right. Right, but what I wanted to do was save space on my Google Drive, and that is not what it did. Now, here's the final piece of this. 
Open Apple Photos app, open albums recently deleted, tap select, delete all, in order to delete them from your device. And I was pleased to see that our correspondent said, oh, I, I restored them. Mm -hmm. It hasn't deleted them. It's merely moved the photos right. into deleted. Again, another hint that it's actually deleting stuff from yes, Apple Photos. It's in the trash. And it's in the trash. So you have, I don't know how long that trash lasts, at least 30 days. You have some time to, to say, whoa. Mm -hmm. So if you did do that and you weren't paying attention to all these pop-ups, you might want to now go to your Apple Photos and undelete what's mm -hmm. in the recently deleted uh, folder. Uh, me, I don't care because... That's saving me space. Your problem was different. Right. Which was that, because uh, you do get, un and I checked this, you do get unlimited free storage mm -hmm. on Google Photos, but you were storing originals. And since you don't pay for additional storage for originals or have a Pixel phone or any of the other many ways you can get free storage of originals from Google, uh, you were getting dinged for the originals. Mm -hmm. But if you delete the originals, you can still... Just don't back up originals. Uncheck right. that box. Yeah. So, yeah. So, all of my photos, because I did that too, and all my photos, my recently deleted photos are all in here, and I better restore them or else yeah. I'll lose them forever. And, and now, of course, what I have to do to complete what I just did is go to my trash, uh, my trash, my recently deleted trash, mm -hmm. and, and empty that out of, if I want to do that permanently, if right. I don't. Uh, then you might want to restore it. Here it is, recently deleted. See, those are the ones that I, it even said 2,135 photos. So these are now in recently deleted. And if I want to get rid of them, I can empty that trash. If I want to restore them, I can restore them. That's, right. that's up to you. Individually. Yeah. So individually, no, I bet you can restore them all. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, yeah, if you hit, if you click, kick, hit select and then you select can just delete them, them all. all. Okay. Or Good. delete them all. Or you can delete them all, but if you want to restore them all, recover you just yeah recover 30 you know you can you don't have to do it individually just yeah you can select, select them all and, yeah 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 you do the yeah. mass select yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and then recover, recover i think recover. personally uh well it makes sense to me maybe it doesn't make sense to you i i, I apologize for not being clear about what was going to happen that's really just what i wanted um i wanted to record you saying i apologize for not being clear about what was going to happen and then i'll use it for all kinds of i apologize reasons. i'm sorry <laughs> Um, no, I am sorry because I, I, I knew that, but I, I just figured you'd see that and you'd understand right. that, and I apologize for not being clear that 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 is the when you're deleting it, it makes no you don't save any space unless you actually delete those photos, mm -hmm. which includes from Apple's own photos app. Uh, Henry from Canada had an email also about how he backs up his photos. He says, uh, on the last iOS Today episode, you were talking about photo backups. I'm a little nervous about trusting all of my backups to iCloud as I think that if I was to inadvertently delete a photo on either my iPhone or iPad, it might delete the original in iCloud. So what I do is I set iCloud on my PC to automatically download new photos to my PC. And from there, I have automatic backups to my NAS and to a cloud backup service. This way, I have multiple copies of the photos in different places. So even if I I lose them in Apple system or somewhere else, I still have several other copies. And by the way, I checked and elephantswearinggoats.com is available if Leo wants to start a completing competing blog. Wait a minute. You're goats wearing pants. Goats wearing clothes. And you called it elephants wearing goats. <laughs> I did? <laughs> yes. That makes no sense. So if sense. you want to buy elephants wearing goats. I could. When but he it sent makes this email, it was available. No sense. Speaking of making no sense, now that I think about it, what Google's doing makes no sense in this deletion because yeah. when you delete, when you clean up in iPhone, in Apple's photos, it says explicitly, but we'll keep the originals on the cloud, right? right. Yeah. Uh, maybe not delete. Maybe uh, you could check a box that says save space on your iPad by only keeping thumbnails. Your high quality originals are preserved in the cloud. So maybe that's why the confusion is that people assume that Google's doing the same thing. Right. But it's not. Yeah. That's probably where the confusion lies. And and for our correspondent, probably better than deleting directly from photos, I understand why he's worried that, that he might do that accidentally. If you check that box that says save space, let's let's actually look at that in the... Uh, in iCloud or in It's Google? in the settings. Um. It's not for photos, I think. I think so always, too, but it's, it's this is always this is always the fun adventure of digging through. And by the way, this is universal because um, here we go. Uh, <laughs> over time, every phone, every tablet, 
these operating systems have gotten so complicated inevitably their settings have gotten more complicated mm -hmm. and where to store stuff in the settings has gotten more complicated and obscure and it's just gotten harder and harder so this is in iclouds in the iCloud settings if you tap photos optimize iPad storage that's what I think a lot of people assume the Google Photos was doing if your iPad is low on space full resolution photos and videos on the iPad are automatically replaced with smaller device size versions but importantly Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud anytime. So the iCloud is continuing to store the originals. This is what I would rather people do if they're just using photos. Do this, optimize, mm -hmm. as opposed to keeping them all on there. Notice I do that as well. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know what, the, what to say as a recommendation. If you rely on iCloud, I understand your nervousness. Absolutely. Yeah. Because if you delete it directly in photos, it's gone. Right. Everywhere. Yeah, because I think I have to restore all these photos. I don't even know where Oh, she's looking through her del recently deleted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to recover those. 61 photos. I'll go back and do that later. Oh, yeah, because I definitely want to recover this photo. I was going to just delete that photo. But I... I, <laughs> I would. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I don't even remember that. I would agree with you, Henry, that the best thing to do for and any serious photographer is doing this is not to rely on iCloud or Google Photos as backup for your most precious photos. Mm -hmm. So what he's doing, and I think it's the right thing to do, is da is storing originals on his computer and then using another backup system. In my case, I use a Synology network attached storage, a NAS device that automatically stores the f the originals, including the raw files from my computer from my phone from every other source uh locally and then i use the, then i use that and i back up to the cloud um so that i have under my own control all of the originals mm -hmm. what that means though is additional cost additional time additional complexity and duplicates and i know a lot of people for some reason given that storage is so cheap and widely available but a lot of people i get this call all the time say i don't want multiple copies of the same photo yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I, I just trust that. Yeah. Better that than... Than none. None. Right. Mm -hmm. Better three copies than no copies. Mm -hmm. um, we have our app cap, but first, what are people going to do when they replace Couldn't I show you this? Oh, yeah. Show me that. Show or do you want to save that for another day? No, I no. just wanted to prove that you're not the only person who can bring glowy devices. I got it. This is a oh. glowy device. Look at that. <gasps> You just turned it over and it started to glow. And watch, I can turn it down by, like it's a knob, and turn it up. Watch that. And then I, if I'm ready to go to bed, like an hourglass, you ready? Are you ready to go to bed? Like an hourglass, I can turn it over, and then it slowly dims to full dark. I love it. And, and so it lets me go to sleep gently. And then, that's just like that. And then, in the morning, it's off. But I set it for my wake-up time, and when it's iOS Today time, and I know I have a show to begin mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock, that's about 9.30 or 10, <laughs> it start, the light slowly comes up. Oh. And it's, by the way, it's, it's a warm light. It's 2,700 Kelvin, which is sunlight. Isn't that beautiful? So it's not, physic it's not actually warm to the touch, but it's no, warm. No, no, it's a warm, warm color. Yes. Here's another thing. Time to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Just shake it. I said... <laughs> Uh, that's not working. Oh, there we go. You shake it and, and you get a gentle glow. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's carry, not so gentle. Carry that torch. And you carry it. Let's do that again. It's supposed to, to give me a very... There we go. That's the bathroom oh, glow. Oh, the nightlight. And then you carry that to the bathroom. Oh. Notice, by the way, it's not plugged in, much like the Go, you know, the, the e Hue uh, Go. And the Hue Go and the e uh, and the e It has... But look at this. You can just turn the lights on now. <laughs> Oh, are they broken? Oh, okay. <laughs> no more it has a little charging stand. And no matter which way you put it on this, it'll charge it up. So it has a battery. What I do is I leave it charging all day. And then when I go to bed, I actually carry this to the bedroom mm. and put it on the stand. This is from Casper, our sponsor. Oh. And I'm not doing an ad here. They're not advertising this. But uh, this they just invented this. And I saw a really great teardown of it and how interesting the stuff is in this. It's 100 bucks. It's called the Casper Glow. You can get multiple ones. So you can get one for, you know, both bedside tables if you're a couple. You can also uh, have them pair to each other so they're in synchronization. It's a really interesting sleep light. 
It's like a lantern, like you bring to bed, like in the Isn't olden it? times. Yeah, like when you were little. And I should show there's you, no there's a there's light. a Glow app, so uh, you can do a lot of this right from the Glow app. Oh, first I have to. Oh, see my, I'm sleeping. It, by the way, did you name it Beanie? No, Casper did. Oh. Casper apparently gives your Glows cute names. Oh. I thought that was really sweet. Is it Benny or Beanie? Beanie. Beanie. Okay. So glow is currently being used as a guiding light. So flip it to turn it off. Beanie's out for a walk, but I'm going to flip it around. And now Beanie, see, it sensed that automatically. Beanie's back home and idle. I can change my wake-up time, as I said, 11.30 a.m. I can group Beanie with other glows so they glow together. And then I also have some direct uh, uh, controls over how bright Beanie is. Uh, overall, and I, I you see I have it kind of a little bit dimmer. I don't like it too bright. And when I flip it over for bedtime, I can say, oh, you could take uh, an hour and a half to, to turn down or oh. 30 minutes. So I thought this was just really cool. And yeah. since you're all fan of these glowy lights. I am. Um, I thought I'd show you uh, the Casper. Yeah, I want yeah. to call it the Casper beanie, the Casper Glow. How much does it cost? Ninety nine bucks. Which so it's it's kind of on a par with the mm -hmm. not that no no it's not a Indiana Jones <laughs> glow stone. Uh, you can get it on the Casper uh, website, and I just thought I I don't know I kind of like this. Lisa won't let it in the house, but oh. I kind of like it. She doesn't. I she's she uh, maybe you're like this. She doesn't want any light in the bedroom at all. Uh, None at all, and she she'll even wear a mask. What about like that a says go away. Light. Do you have reading lights? You mean when you go to sleep? When no you go light. to sleep. Okay. I have to remove all devices, all LEDs. And and she doesn't want the slow dimming of this. Uh, she also doesn't want me to get up in the middle of the night and, and have this little lantern yeah. that I'm taking with me. So, I don't know. I, I just thought it'd be fun to show. So, and you just wanted to pretend like you're allowed to use it at I'm night. I'm not allowed to use it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This is. I think this is so cool that it, you can turn it like that's a knob except you're just turning it in its yeah, base that is and it, and it knows that oh that means darker or brighter it's a it's the engineering in this is fascinating and uh there was a great tear down that's what got me uh, mm. involved in uh in this is are there um like you could make your inside? own huh are there lightning bugs inside is that what the, it's kind of like that comes yeah from? it's actually the engineering in this is really interesting see there he is he's tiptoeing that way you don't step on the legos Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very important. That is, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't oh, if you've ever stepped on a Lego, there's no greater parental mm -hmm. pain. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like the idea of, and if you had multiple ones in the ha in mm -hmm. the bedroom, and you had them all kind of gradually brighten mm -hmm. to wake you up, isn't that better than an alarm? Yeah, for sure. It's kind of like daylight. Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd, you're not the Thank only you. one. Thank you, I love glowing it. Glowing lantern. Now, now let's talk about gazelle. Let's talk about because gazelle. You know, you, if it's time to get a new device, mm -hmm. well, maybe there's two things that happen when you want to get a new device. One, you got to pay for it, right? Or you do. <laughs> or in Megan's case, I'll be paying for it. Mm -hmm. But you know what we do with your old device? Mm -hmm. We gazelle it. Gazelle is the trusted online marketplace for selling used electronics. So when it's time for that new device subsidize it go to the junk drawer <laughs> you know we all have that electronic graveyard go to the junk drawer look through you might as well get everything out of there and send it to gazelle they offer competitive offers on phones tablets and computers iphone 5 through the iphone 10s max so if maybe you said i'm gonna abandon the 10s and go to a samsung you could do that they also buy samsung galaxy phones macbooks and more it's very convenient. You can do this online. You can get a quote online. Just answer a few questions regarding condition, if it's a phone, who the carrier is, whether it's locked or unlocked, and get a price quote. Quotes are good for 30 days. It gives you time to get a new device, transfer the data over, then send it to Gazelle. And by the way, they send you a prepaid box to ship it. When they receive your item, and I, I almost didn't believe this till it happened to me. It's happened to me many times now. If it's in better condition than you said, They'll up your offer. They'll give you more money. And if they say, no, you know what? This isn't really working. Uh, it's broken. And they want to lower the offer. You can say, okay, I'll take it. Or you can have it shipped back to you at no risk and no charge. You can always accept or deny any quote. Shipping's always free. Payment is very fast. Payment options include 
a check, of course, but you can also use PayPal if you want it faster. Or, and I love this, the Amazon gift card, because I spend a lot of stuff on Amazon, and they, they automatically come with an extra bonus to increase the value of your Gazelle sale. Gazelle even has custom trade-in options for businesses with 10 or more devices to sell. So, you know, when our, all our new iPods and iPads come, we just get a big box and send it all into Gazelle. It is such a great thing. Don't let your old devices collect dust when you could be getting paid. Lock in the value of your phone and get an extra $10 in your first trade-in of $50 or more at gazelle.com slash twit. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, gazelle.com slash twit. If it's time for a new device, it's time to go to gazelle. Time to don the same hat, exactly mm -hmm. the same hat, mm -hmm. each of us. I don't know if mine's on correctly. I can't. Well, I think we have. Uh, are there any Canadians in the house that can show us any Mounties mm. that can show us There's how to an put Australian? This? That's practically Canadian. They're in the <laughs> Commonwealth. Is that not an Australian outback hat? This kind of looks like an Australian hat. Mine's mine's Canadian. Yours yeah. is Australian. This is, in fact, a product of Australia. Oh. Made in China, <laughs> uh, but that's just over the water a little mm -hmm. bit. This is nice. It is, is nice. this what would you call this hat, Bren? Uh, yeah, we just call that hat. A hat. Just a hat. That's what they would call it. Is <laughs> call it a hat. A hat. Well, that's not a hat. Here we call it an Australian <laughs> hat, but there you just call it a hat. I like this hat a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. bacon. It's bacon. Mm -hmm. It's not Australian bacon. It's bacon. So we are wearing our Canadian Australian hats uh, to celebrate our ab caps, uh, and. That's the apps that we've been enjoying this week. You are going to start as you always do. Yes. But before I begin, I'm going to move uh, my microphone away from my mouth because I'm going to do some screaming. <laughs> this, Wait a minute. This is an app that makes you scream? Yeah. Okay. It's called Scream Go Hero. And it's a game that you control with your voice. So let me move. Oh, this, this is cool. This is great. Kids, you might want to get this for that long road trip with your parents and really drive them nuts. Okay, she's firing up Scream Go Hero from Catch App. Uh, let's play. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a runner. It's an endless runner. Okay. Yep, side scroller. Okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> 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 so, um, I'm not, I'm not. Everybody's coming running in the studio. It's okay. She's fine. I am. Oh, wow. 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 She's not. So. <laughs> so when you scream, he jumps. Is that it? Is that what? <laughs> Can we, uh, can we, you know what we should do is we should, we should uh, airplay this to the Apple TV. Can we do that so that we can see? Do you want to stop? Just move it down a little bit so we can okay. see it. Sorry, I was so excited. Revive. So. I died. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. What, <laughs> what, what do your kids say when you do this? They come into the room just like. You know, just like Anthony and everybody came running, running in. They thought I was. Murdering you. Should we airplay it to the Apple TV? Yes. Should we do level mode or endless? No, endless. Okay. Endless screaming. Uh, ah! <laughs> Too much, you missed the cherry. <laughs> that is going to be so much fun. I finally a game I'm good at. It's so good. I'm really good at it. That is so good. And if you're an audio listener, I just have nothing to say. I'm sorry. Um, it's a free, free game. <laughs> that is the greatest game ever. It I think you is, win the App Cap of the Year award. On that um, 
free. It's got a lot of holy in cow. It, but, um, yeah. Wow. <sighs> it's How's your voice? Does it feel all right? I'm a little scratchy. Um, You're turning bright red. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Here, throw me that card because my app oh, cap okay. I actually mailed you my app cap. And this, uh, do you have the guy's email? Could you pull oh. that up? Because I recommended um, a uh, card app. The other mm -hmm. day, remember last week or the week before, it was an app cap. And uh, it, it kind of came out looking funny. Megan looked a little hairy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, and somebody wrote to us and said, you know, that's fine. But I've been using an app, uses the Apple Pencil. It's called Felt. And it's really an awesome card app. It's from Brandon in San Diego. Brandon, thank you, because you're absolutely right. Felt is amazing. Now, you can do, uh, if you want a subscription, $6 a month, you get three photos or greeting cards. So they're $2 each. Or you can pay as you go. And I haven't yet signed up. I'm just doing a pay as you go. Uh, you can you can add, well, I'll just copy last card. Oh, so oh, you haven't seen it yet. No, I okay. haven't. And then you can add a message. You can flip the card over. And you can, oh. and by the way, you can do it with the Apple Pencil. So I wrote with the Apple Pencil. You do the addressing this way. Okay, pretty cool. They actually stamp it with a real stamp, which is pretty neat. Look at that nice kind of craft paper envelope. And do you like the handwriting? You have different choices for the font, centered or left justified and all that stuff. But we haven't opened it. We don't no. know how this is going to come out. So let's see. Because the other one, the picture, it wasn't great. No. <clears throat> now, I think this costs more than $2 if you're doing it onesie, twosie. I don't remember. It was three or four bucks maybe. It's a That's little how card. Much a card would cost. Oh, look, yeah. Aww. The thing, it's more like a coaster size, you know. Yeah. And then on the back, dear Megan, and it, it, it's a little washed out. It's not like I actually hand wrote. Dear Megan, greetings from the guy sitting next to you. How's everything, Leo? And a little face. I'm and gonna And I save do that, that little face. I'm gonna sell it on eBay. It does say felt on it. So, uh, Brandon, I, you know, when I saw this, I said, "Darn it, you're right, Brandon. This is this is pretty darn." Cool. I can add uh, different frames. So, um, you know, uh, photo caption cards. So you can add a an Instagram style caption. Let's let's try this here. Um, <laughs> and by the way, they also have, as you can see, uh, I just love different that picture. Yeah, different looks. <laughs> Thank you. Sparkles. That's good. I'm gonna. I think I like the. I like this. I like this. Hello, baby. But <laughs> do not send me that card. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, I love that. I think that's a that's a hit. Uh, we're gonna save that one out, and then uh, and then now with a pencil, which is really cool. I can I can say this. Let's see. Oh yeah, I gotta start here. And you get to choose. By the way, it's got a palette of. There's the eraser. We could choose colors. I can write this one in bright red. I think that's a good idea. Uh, lined paper or not lined paper? Uh, yeah, you could choose choose different. Oh, dot like the bullet. Jar. Yeah, you but Bujo style. <clears throat> uh, you could choose a kind of a, a rapidograph fine point, or a, I like the felt pen. I mean the fountain pen, as you know. Mm -hmm. that you can also type if you have terrible handwriting. Don't don't feel like you have to you have to do it that way. But how do I get back? I want to go back. Oh, and you can also choose if you're typing. You can choose this is fancy script right i don't want to oh, do it that yeah. way though i want to i like the other one let's where do i go how do i go back oh yeah here we go let's go back to this okay uh is your pencil connected yeah oh, yeah because it's yeah. working yeah uh, maybe because i did it oh is it on the left script or oh. <laughs> there we go there we go so let's choose this. Uh -huh. Choose this. Hello, Moroni. Is that your nose? <laughs> <laughs> see, isn't that fun? You didn't see any of that. No, no, we saw Is it my all. My hat in the way. Okay. No, no, we saw That's it. That's fun. All right. And John I, finished uh, your joke in an inappropriate, but did obvious he? way. Well done, John. <laughs> Or you're, oh, he said, or are you just happy to see me? Yes, that's what he um, said. <laughs> so there you go, and then we can uh, we can package that up. Okay, there we go. Hello, baby. 
And then, uh, yeah, uh huh. I know you're never going to get rid of this. I'm sorry. It's the best picture I've ever taken. All right, now we'll save it out. And by the way, they have other kinds of things, right? I mean, I can even oh, just in case you want to know, add a gift. Oh. I almost did this. Oh, I almost sent you some chocolates. Oh, then I thought, well, that would just go to waste because I can't eat them. <laughs> Right, exactly. Right, right. That's the so way they have, you a, give but they gifts. have other gifts. It doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be chocolates. It could be a bundle of hand dried lavender. Oh, that's a nice gift. Yeah, or lavender plus love chocolates oh. and, you know, so um, they, obviously I, they make a little more money on this. A mason jar cookie mix. Oh, see, that's nice. That's yeah. cute. You could use that. So you Relaxing can do a whole remedies. Accordion card, like many different panels. Um, you're. Oh, let's put some confetti in the car. Oh, yeah. What do you Everybody think? loves that. Yeah. Or just cash. Yes. Send just cash like your grandpa money. used to do. You could put a, a dollar bill in there. Merry Christmas. That's pretty funny. I should have done this. Yeah, you should have. Before we mail your card, we will take a picture of the cash and card and envelope together. For some active postal system, your card doesn't arrive or has, not, has been damaged. You agree not to hold us responsible. Oh. Huh. Great. Picture's correct. They're going to fold up a $2 bill. Oh, that's nice. I thought it was one, but maybe there's a... <laughs> and then I can type the address. And and as you can see, it actually does come in an envelope yeah. that looks like that. Uh, pretty cool, huh? So thank you, Brandon Felt. Well, it looks it's like free. it is an accordion. like, Or is that just the back? No, no. Oh, you think I've made one thing? I don't know. No, that's the old card. I don't know. Yeah. Should we send this all and see no, what happens? No, do not send that to me. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to. Um, it remembers things like the return address and, uh, you know, and there's some additional features. I can even pull up your address from my contact list and all of that. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, let's just see uh, once I'm done how much it costs. Because hmm, I, I, I uh, pricing, here we go. So cards, felt credits, or subscription. Mm. So you can buy a bunch of credits and save money. You can buy a subscription. I mean, it's pricey. If you get felt pro, it's 40% off the card credits. Each card's $2.40, but you have to spend $20 a month and get, you know, a free stylus. Nice. And I think you have to pay for the whole year, too. Right. You so, you know, they, you know, they kind of... I, I think probably most people just use this onesie, twosie. But if you knew, you know, after you did it a while and you, you said, oh, I'm going to do this forever. I love this. Uh, you know, I subscribe to a similar service. Mm -hmm. So it's 4 to $7 per card. Um, I guess that's what a card, if you went to yeah. a card store, would cost you. Without your face on it? And you don't have to go to get a stamp. And I like it that it's a real stamp. Isn't that kind of fun? Mm -hmm. And it didn't take too long either. You got this yesterday, the day before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, my reaction is to this. Ah! I, it's it. Thank you, Brandon, for a great alternate app cap <clears throat> suggestion. You really should be careful with that game because my throat your throat is, is a little. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do it because I would lose my. Yeah, you have a lot more talking my, to today. Me, my, my I got livelihood. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's uh, that's our show. We did it. Thank you so much for being here. We do uh, iOS today every Tuesday, nine a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. 1700, I'm sorry, 1600 UTC. If you want to tune in and watch or listen live, go to twit.tv slash live. You get a choice of streams there. If you are participating live, do go to the chat room. It's always fun to be in there. Uh, just go to irc.twit.tv. You can log in, give yourself a nice nickname and, and participate with the, uh, with the crew. A lot of fun people in there. Now, I know most of you, you know, have jobs and lives, and maybe you can't be here on a Tuesday morning, but you could always get on-demand versions of the show and listen at your convenience. Easiest way to do that, go to our website, twit.tv slash iOS. You can download any episode from there. And I like it if you subscribe, because that way you're guaranteed that the minute this show comes out, you're going to have a copy so you can listen to it in the morning on the way in or whatever. So find your favorite podcast application. There's lots of great ones out there. Subscribe to iOS today, and we will see you next week. If people want to email Megan, Megan at twit.tv. That's it. Yep. Uh, make a YouTube video of of your cat watching her scream. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. Do that. 
and email it to Megan at twit.tv and we will uh, show it on the next episode. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. <laughs>